Well, I first saw Jeanette two years ago. And Jeanette is in her 80s. She has tremendous East Village character. And as I got to know her more, I began to visit her apartment, and I was really enchanted by what I saw inside. And so she's been collecting things for 44 years. So her apartment is like a museum of her life. The charm of the apartment is, although it appears on the surface to be disorganized, it really isn't. And so they reflect who she is and who she was and who she was 40 years ago, who she was 30 years ago. Where's your light? This is the light switch, right? Yeah. I want to get the natural light on your face. OK. Let me see what that looks like. All right. Because I was after her money. I didn't know she had that money. Oh, they said you were after her. Yeah. They were. I didn't know she had that money. I want to let in the right amount of light so that I can capture the feeling of the light on her. There's just a real sense of isolation and abandonment. My ISO was 25 and 3200. I will slow my shutter and I open up my aperture and convey a lot of feeling. The lens on the camera is superb. I've had uh, wonderfully sharp images and I've also had beautiful bokeh. I like to shoot wide, so I do put the 18 millimeter attachment on there when I need a wider shot. So the first thing I do is I, you know, pull up Lightroom. I like to play around with my images. I don't process them too much. I will pull up some shadows, I'll sharpen things, clarify things. I try not to over clarify stuff, but I do like a certain look to my pictures. Next thing is I'm going in and I'm messing around with my colors. In the case of Jeanette, I'm definitely adjusting my yellows, reds, and oranges. I feel intensely connected to these photos. Sometimes in my mind I call this series, you know, these last days, because they are her last days, and that's hard to say, but that's what they are. And so when I go in to shoot her, especially lying in bed, I am really overwhelmed by the sense that these are her last days. I'm very focused on conveying that in those images of her lying in bed.